So hi everyone, uh, thanks for having me. First of all, I want to give credits to you guys um, since you decided to take the risky uh, part of becoming an entrepreneur, which is definitely not an easy thing. I think it's uh, quite rewarding and uh, I firmly believe that the time to be an entrepreneur has never been better in the recent histories than these days. Um, so this is good news for all of us. Um, so I myself started um, my startup career in 1999, just a couple of blocks away from this building. Um, when I was still in school um, and I joined a startup to make some extra pocket money and my uh, former teenage self was immediately electrified by the entrepreneurial spirit, the passion, the commitment and um, yeah, the, the, what we achieved as a team in such a small time without, with, with just limited resources. And since then, I'm actually um, infected with a startup virus. And um, yeah, so, so I'm, I'm a huge fan of entrepreneurs, so uh, you already got my attention. I'm looking forward to speak to you later. Um, yeah, after having different roles in different startups uh, with mixed successes, I would say, um, I turned into VC in 2010 when I joined Dumo Venture. And in 2013, um, my colleagues in, and I, we, we started a new fund, which is Capnemic Ventures. It's an independent venture capital firm. Um, and we manage, are currently managing a fund of 100 million um, euros. And uh, yeah, Capnemic Ventures. Um, so I have nine great colleagues at Capnemic. Most of them have an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial background. So um, we know how it is to go out to do fundraising, to hire people, to dismissing people, and experience all the ups and downs of an entrepreneurial life. Um, this doesn't, unfortunately, necessarily make us better, uh, uh, better investors or doesn't allow us to make better investment decisions, but um, I think it provides a certain level of empathy for you, for you as founders. So um, and this is definitely beneficial in our daily interaction and the way how we interact um, with founders. Um, yeah, when um, so Capnemic, at Capnemic we have three um, investment themes that we follow, which is. B2B solutions, digital infrastructure, and uh, digital transformation. Yeah? And um, when, when it comes to down to the evaluation of the deal, of the, to the due diligence, and we make up our mind regarding an investment decision, uh, we bring it down to what we call the three T's. Team, timing, and technology. Of course, we love technology-driven business models, but uh, obviously, the team is the most important thing, so you guys. Yeah? And um, this means if we invest, we invest in you, and we want you to be in the driver's seat. Yeah? And despite our entrepreneurial background, we don't see ourselves as uh, co-founders or company builder, but we want to be the one that you call first if things go wrong at, I don't know, AM and, uh, 1 a.m. in the morning. We want to we want to have this trust level that you call us, and then we um, try to help you guys as good as we can and as much as you want us to help you with our network, with our experience, um, and our whole team. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so what else? The hard facts, we are based in Cologne and, and Berlin. Um, we invest mainly at Series A level, sometimes at seed. Um, we do that with a focus on the German-speaking region because we think having some local context uh, is, is, is quite important in, um, in early stage invest investing. So we want to be close to you. Um, usual ticket sizes are 1 million to 3 million on the first check. And over the lifetime, we are, of course, happy to deploy more capital. Uh, um, so how, how, how do we work? As I said, it's more a pull mechanism than a push mechanism from our side. But we usually assist in three areas, which is um, the overall, so we are a sparring partner for you in the overall strategic decision making. So where you want to go, um, for example, you want to internationalize, which, where, when should you go internationalize, how should you do that? Um, um, 
Then we support you, of course, uh, in fundraising. Uh, so the financing strategy is quite important. So we help you not only defining the right amount of money you need or should take, um, but also um, introduce you to hopefully the next follow on investors. And um, then it's, of course, helping you to build a um, organization. You organization, growing company from 10 to 20 to 50 to 100 employees can be very scary. Um, but uh, yeah, then we try to help you as good as you can. Thank you.